Hi, my beautiful Libras. How are you? If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle, and this is your weekly meeting. Before I continue, I want to give you guys some shout outs. So let me just find them real quick. So let's continue with the birthday shout outs. So we have here Brie L, and her birthday is October 13. Happy birthday, love. We have Joe, Joe Torres. Um, his birthday is October 10. Happy birthday to you also. Let's see what else I got here. Hold on. So I'm finding some more. So I have Ariel Lefranc. Her birthday is 10-17. Happy birthday. Um, let's see what else I have here. Let me continue to look for them. We also have Joanne Donaldson. Um, their birthday is 10-20. Happy birthday. Um, I had somebody else here as well. Uh, let me see. I don't want to miss it. Uh, birthday vlogs. Her birthday is October 17th. Happy birthday. Um, let's see. I got a lot, so it takes me a minute. We got Yvonne Baker. Her, her birthday is 1020. Happy birthday, my love. And we have Sienna Gale. Sienna Gale. I'm saying wrong. I'm sorry. October 22nd. Happy birthday, babe. Um, we got Gail Hill. Her birthday is September 30th happy late birthday we got terry terry uh her birthday is october 12th happy birthday as well we got paula martin october 9th uh happy birthday for you as well we got tawny classy october 19th happy birthday we got sandra Ma michael um her birthday is 10 6 happy birthday for you we got lexi angelique uh 10 17 happy birthday for you too as well baby becky moore october 10th happy birthday we got maddie rose uh 10 8 happy birthday babe and marcia smiley is uh october october 6 happy birthday and last one for today clinton clinton blackwell october 12 happy birthday carla nemnish nemnish 10 11 happy birthday and robert warren 10 6 and last one barbara bubble wicks 10 17 happy birthday babe i'm sorry i'm so i'm so bad at names but those are all the shout outs for today happy birthday to everybody and everybody that i didn't get to happy birthday to it's just like it's a lot of people hi libra how are you if you knew how welcome to this show and this is your weekly reading before i start i want to remind you guys that my readings have no date hold on they are divinely guided everything has free will not everything is going to resonate with with everything or with you <laughs> With this set, feel free to take or leave whatever you want. If the person of your interest is Libra, hi, welcome. And with this said, let's move forward. Because we're done with a shout out, so we'll move forward. So we have here, ooh, the Ace of Pentacles, the Devil here. We also have the Temperance right here. We got the Ace of Swords in the reverse. The Six of Swords. Two of Cups. The Hermit of Reverse, the Knight of Wands in Reverse, and overall, thank you. Chariot at the bottom, we got a Six of Pentacles. So we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Focus on Taurus and Capricorn. We have Temperance, Aquarius, Energy, Ace of Swords in Reverse. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Six of Swords again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Two of Cups, Pisces. We got the Hermit of Reverse, uh, Virgo energy. Uh, we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is Leo Sagittarius. And we got the Chariot right here, which is Cancer energy. And the Six of Pentacles. This is Earth. Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it seems right here that I feel like this person who is represented as the devil, this is somebody who is or was a fuck boy, a fuck girl, somebody that you literally think cannot change. I feel like you have changed this person with the short time you guys were together whatever it is that you guys did to this person or whatever got relationship you guys have with this person you guys had changed this person this person was blinded by lust like this person was just all about the hookup culture fucking hooking up like they they have little to no empathy towards others not only you but others as well i feel like you showed up as the deer here you are not only wise but also you have the sense of um you are kind and they at, at, the, at the time you sacrifice a lot for them sacrificing such as uh how you view them how you view you all the shit that you endure just because 
you love them, you care for them, but this person and your and your actions has stuck with them forever. Like whatever you did to, for them, not to them, but for them, has stuck. And this person has worked on healing negative shit, healing part of them that they didn't want to acknowledge, uh, coming with uh, amends with the past because they had a lot of unfinished shit that had nothing to do with you. And I feel that with the Ace of Swords, I'm sorry, this is the wig hair, the Ace of Swords right here, um, they had a hard time healing, they had a hard time transforming. Multiple times they stopped in the middle middle of the transformation and that's why they went back and forth with it because they stopped whenever they said like, oh no, it's done, I'm done. Because when well, you know when you transform, when you go to that journey, it's a lot of challenges though. And not everybody's built for that. And this person was like, no, I'm done. I'm not doing that no more. Fuck this shit. Like, I'm done. I'm done. So that's one of the things that they encounter when it comes to their journey. And that's why they took so so long to come forward. Because every time they got somewhere, they just didn't want to continue because it was too much work. Now, you have worked on moving forward or trying to move forward but you see all the swords you're still carrying a lot of actions and i feel like there was a lot of words that were left unsaid like you wanted to say more or do more and i feel like that's why you feel unfinished because you're like you never got the chance to express directly to this person exactly how you felt and or what you wanted to express now i know some of you um don't like when i talk about this but suck it with this said, um, with the two of cups right here, yes, you are still a little bit, I wouldn't say bitter, but like upset that you didn't got the chance to speak your truth. And I feel that some of you may feel like, you know, I just feel like this shouldn't have ended this way. And even, even if it did, I, f I felt like I should have the chance to speak my truth because I feel like you got shunned before you were able to say anything like they went like shh, like ghosted you and you were not allowed or able to express exactly how they make you feel because you wanted to tell them their your truth to their face and you never got that chance is whenever uh somebody let's say uh, argues with me in the comments and i just block them they get upset because they're no longer able to say nothing to me so that's the feeling like it's an upset feeling bitter ish feeling and that is not exactly like that it's just a mixed feeling i just don't know how to explain it better but that's a feeling and i know people be like i'm not better i baby go to your mama like stop this is a general <laughs> how can i explain this any better but either way with the uh, hermit and reverse and the knight of wands and reverse so your knight of wands went on incognito they actually were hiding from you they actually were avoiding you pur like purposely because you were causing what they call damage, which is you were reflecting exactly the things that they didn't want to acknowledge. And without you knowing, you changed them and they started noticing shit about their behavior that was not good or proper. And recently they have been thinking about wanting you and their life in any way, shape or form that they can have it. Now, I'm not talking about somebody only who wants to be in your life as a lover. This is somebody who wants to make amends with you and at least ha have an amicable relationship or a friendship if you allow it because they know. So it's like they'd rather have you in their life than not have you in their life, you know? And this is in the way that you allow this, right? With the chariot right here, Cancer Energy, it seems right here that you right now have the whole power of this connection like how does it go how fast does it go how far do you go exactly what is it that is going to be in this relationship if we call a relationship i also see the it's giving me something about egypt is a reference of egypt um, um it's also giving me a reference of a movie the king of egypt it's like a cartoonish from the 19s 1990s for I, but I around that time 1998 I'm not sure but it's called the king of Egypt somebody is giving me the reference of the king of Egypt I don't know why but I'm just saying it either way um the, this is like pretty much saying that you have the power to invest or not in this relationship and if you do invest how much you know now with the six of pentacles right here um I feel like it's 
setting things straight with you and this person. I feel like a lot of shit is not fair, was not set straight, and I feel like right now the universe is giving you balance. It's giving you the balance that you didn't know you needed. Right? Because if you knew it, we didn't need tarot. And that's the fact. You don't know this. So it's like the universe is giving you the balance that you need it. This is going to actually give you balance when it comes to your mental health, your future relationships with them or whoever you want to involve yourself in or with. And also it's going to affect your career and finances. Because when we are unstable in a way to perform, our life cannot go straight. It's going to always be wiggly. So as of right now, the universe is actually making things fair and even doing what's fair that's what i heard doing what's fair okay i want to find more information let's see what else can you give me about this please and thank you spirit give me all the details all the tea i can I see somebody with brown hair. I don't know who the hell this person is. The star. So we got Libra, Libra energy all over. We got Libra again. We got Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the King of Pentacles and Beavers, and the star right here. So, in the sun, Libra, a Leo energy. So I feel that we are actually putting a dot to this heartbreak. I feel that some of you don't get why things fucking happen this, the way it happened. Some of you don't get what the hell did I meet this freaking person to to end like this? Like some of you are having a lot of questions that not only tarot can give you tarot can give you some ideas and guidance, but some of you are so stubborn that you guys need the answer straightforward from the source. Now, like I said before, my comment sections are for fun comments and all of that but anything that starts a war is going to be blocked because my section is not for that like don't come here arguing and venting and like throwing negative things towards me like I'm, I'm at fault I'm so sorry I love everybody but anything that causes controversy is going to be blocked and reported so please think twice before commenting negative things against other people against this channel because it's not going to be allowed I just got to comment that before continuing because this past days I have blocked so much and reported so much that is insane. Um, moving from this is actually giving you a reason and giving you like the answer of why things happen or why did you even meet this person? Like what was the purpose of it? You're going to get that very, very soon. I feel like this is going to happen towards the end of the year for others of you. Keep in mind that my readings are timeless. So this could be this year or the next is whenever, but it's going to happen towards the end of the year. Um, I feel that um, some of you are dealing with, it's like dealing with the ghost of their, their energy. Like, how can I remove them from my energies? How can I detach from them? It's going to happen whenever this happens because your soul, your past self, yourself, you need an answer why. I know you know you didn't deserve it. I know you know a lot of shit, but you need to hear something that's extremely important for you to release this feeling this emotion that you have been carrying there's a need for you to understand something something that's coming for you as a important news for you to release something permanently okay that's why they're coming back in a way shape or form that's why they continue in your readings or you feel this is the same person. This could be a completely new person as well because you know better. If you don't know how your life is going, then don't blame the tarot reader, right? Now, with the world right here and the reverse right here, um, again, it's because in a way, shape, or form, your life is a little bit unbalanced. And whatever this is, is coming to bring, to put things at balance. You guys are still connected to this person and you guys have been doing your own thing but some of you are doing your life getting to know new people but always having a tiny little bit of like what if like what if like something about them hasn't left the chat okay something about them hasn't left the chat and the universe is the only one who can set this straight so they're going to actually allow this to happen so you get the fucking answer that you have been needing it's going to help you to your ascension as well now 
with the five of cups in the reverse and the magician you are gonna get your power back okay boo -boo? you hear me boo -boo gaga you hear me that this person is coming with an apology this person is going to apologize to you you're gonna get some with this apology you're gonna actually get an answer and also you're gonna get your power back keep in mind libra that whoever messes with a libra they have karma in their energies you have not done anything negative towards this person but this person is coming with an apology i see somebody even begging like humiliating this like please give me a chance please, please please and you will have the chance to say yes or no before you had given all your freaking power back to this person they were doing whatever the fuck they wanted with your energies calling you what they wanted caring for you when they wanted always under their time always their expectations now it's not like that now it's libra time now is Libra time to receive. Now is Libra time to get what they deserve because Libra is going to get justice. Libra is going to get justice. Karma is going to be served to Libra. Some of you love this person. Some of you don't. But you're going to get served, baby. This person, they need to come to you and apologize. That is their karma they need to come back and apologize and your karma is to receive the apology the person who hurt you the most is the one who can set you free okay because how can you cl close the karma when you didn't do anything wrong to yourself you're not perfect i know that but you didn't do anything wrong so how can you do it for them they have to apologize to you so you can actually release that libra you see this you're clairvoyant. Your, your gifts are going to get ascend, ascending like that. Libra, you're magical, Libra. Your powers are going to get... What is that? Oh, my, my neighbors. <laughs> your, your powers are going to get so powerful. Like you're going to get powerful by the minute. But besides that, Libra, you're going to get a, an apology. You need to get your apology because you need to get your power back. You have some power back, but you need to get more of your power back. Guess what? These are going to be set straight. Now, this person is coming from afar. I see a boat. Somebody, done. they don't live near you. It's far from you. Somebody with brown hair. It's somebody, I see them being tired. I feel like this person wants, wants peace. Um in a way is the answer to a promise the universe promised you that you were gonna get this person back that you were gonna get an apology they didn't say when they said that you were gonna get it and they're coming in with that so now this person is juggling they're actually exactly thinking and juggling what to say they're fucking nervous of you libra because your presence is so is so powerful libra they're fucking nervous and they're afraid of you in a way because libra Everything in their life has changed so much since they met you. They're like, what the fuck did Libra do to my life? You're going to get an apology. This person, this person right here, they're a mess. And you knew that when you met them. But this person is a mess. They are wishy-washy, in and out of people's life. They can't hold a job. So they're coming in to apologize to you. This is something that they never thought they would because they're the kind of person like, oh, no, don't worry. I heard them, but I can move on. I don't need them. But guess what? Every time they drink, they think about you. They want to call you. They're like obsessed with you in a way. They can't get you out of their head. The sun. All the planets are influencing on this. This is not just me talking. This is actually astrology shit. Pluto, Venus, mother, father, brother, the whole fucking Simpsons. This is being actually brought together. The universe needs to set this straight. This person needs to apologize to you. They need to. Now, this person needs to swallow their pride. This person carries a lot of pride. And this person needs to be humbled. And the universe is allowing them to be humbled. You learn to not give your power back again. 
and they learn to be humble okay now i'm gonna cover this right here the start car you are their dream come true now they see that you are the person they want but guess what they can't just come over like nothing happened we need to set the past straight we need to to gather and fix what we broke you know this is them not you now i want to tell you more let me tell you more while you're getting justice can you tell me more spirit about why this is needed why this is needed spirit I want to tell you something that I just heard. Imagine hurting the person God sent you to heal you. And that's exactly what happened. God sent you to them to heal them, to give them the first, for the first time in a long time, a fucking healthy relationship. And they messed it up. Now, the universe has actually give them some total payback like relationships are not working they have realized that people have they don't have value they have been cheated on they have been played as well like they have gone through hell and back and been through exactly what they've been through make you go through i should say they have been through exactly what they put you through realizing that nobody listens like you do nobody loves them like you do nobody cares for you like they do and the fact that they have to continue to compare because they had something good and now they have to compare like oh my god but Libra did it better but Libra was that is some sort of karma so now they realize that they had it so good with you now allowing them to have a moment of realization of their mistake like holy fuck look at this I can't find any better because once you try Libra, you can't go back. Boom. Now, the two ones right here, they have to gain freaking focus and they have to figure out what the fucking they want. Because apologies, yeah, but they have to focus on what they want. This is uncertain. They're coming towards you, but they have this uncertain energy of like, I don't know if Libra is going to get me back because Libra has become the judge and the jury. Libra has the power which they don't like they like to have power they have to come back to see if you want them back to see if you take them back offering you a big gift which is a big apology this could also be a gift birthday Christmas something like that this person is coming like a volcano in a way it's like disturbing your peace in a way making things a little bit too hot I feel like you guys are going to bump heads with this person. It's not going to be that simple like it used to be. You're not going to open your arms and be like, oh my goodness, hi. Like, I don't feel like you're going to do that. I feel like this time you guys are going to speak your mind. You're going to speak your mind, Libra. You're going to set shit straight. You're going to actually take this advantage. I don't say you don't love them. For those who love them, but you have bit your tongue. You tried and they shut the, the door at your face. Now is your time to speak your truth. And I feel like that's what you need to do so things can get straight set straight they're gonna give you a a reason of why they did things with the eight of pentacles right here i see somebody working with you work at uh, others of you this person is working or will be working to get your trust back to get your forgiveness back because it means a lot to them because they regret not treating you with the value you deserved okay the moon right here pisces energy the ten of swords right here they are hurt and they are fucking regretful of lying to you being shady hurting you because it all came back everything they did to you that was negative it has bit them in there now guys it has come back towards them they had paid exactly what they did to you and that has given them um, insights of how things are treated so the universe has given them insights of like do you like this bro do you like how it feels like this is a taste of your own medicine like do you like that and who do you treat it just like this and that's when they oh my god i did that to libra i did libra dirty oh my god i feel so sick of it i'm so tired because i don't like how this feels libra didn't deserve that look at this 
Libra was my queen, my king, my royalty. Libra is my dream come true. You cannot stop in to in their dreams. You are in their dreams day, day and night, day and night. They dreaming about you. Hearing people that they have the same name, people that look like you, uh, having dreams about you. And that is what they can't stand and they have to come back. And they're going to be like, okay, yeah, I'm sorry for what I did, bro. Like that, that, that. And you guys have to make things right. You both have to make things right for the good of both of you. How do you make it right, Libra? Tell them exactly how you feel. Vent it. Don't hold back. And he or she needs to do the same. And you guys need to make a, a plan of what is this going on. Like, what the fuck is going on, Libra? Like, are you guys going to take them back or not? Because I sense multiple energies of like, well, it, it depends if they come back. Okay, they're coming back. That's a fact. That's Mac. I don't know why I say that. I was going to say MacBook. MacBook. What the fuck? Anyways, mark my words. They're coming back. So you need to work your magic making things right with this person. I want to give you another reading, Libra, down the road this week. But as of right now, mark my words, they're coming, and this is urgent, 911 kind of thing, ER kind of thing, Grace Anatomy kind of thing. They're coming in, and you need to be ready because they're coming soon because we are making this right, Libra. We are making this right, Libra. You don't have too, too much time to think about this. They are here. Their energies are already here. They just need to come here physically. The Emperor Aries and the Empress Libra. Two individuals who are energetically equal. Two leaders. The fact is that you both have equal energies. Do you understand that? Do neither of you like to be too vulnerable? Neither of you likes to apologize first. And that's the problem. That's what you guys are going to bump heads. Because when you guys meet again, you guys are in the same level. And we need to clear the past because it's bugging you. The past, what things happened in the past, cannot be put under the rug. cannot be ignored. So it's time for you to get the dirty laundry and talk about it. But we got two people energetically perfect for one another. Perfect for one another. Royalty energy, power couple. Here, fund. Sent by the universe itself. But something is being ignored. Something is not done properly and is making things right. You guys are continuing repeating the past patterns. You know that you guys chose this person before coming to this earth? You guys are in a soul tie contract. And you can't escape it until you guys make things right. And you guys are going to make this right. The universe is going to make it. Because somebody here doesn't learn. Somebody here is too stubborn. And I feel you guys share that energy. But either way, you guys are a power couple can work things can go but somebody here is acting like a pendejo okay or pendeja um i feel that you have some sort of compassion libra but they have to come to you right they have to come to you right and i feel they're coming to you right they have been dreaming about you a lot they're going nuts they're going nuts like holy mother why am i dreaming about libra they can't stop thinking about you like they can't stop thinking about you look look you are their beautiful person perfect person for them i also see thanksgiving as being important and guess what baby it's not gonna happen in a perfect time they're not gonna come to you when you're ready they're getting into your life like that unexpectedly and then what? Let's make things right, Libra. Making things right. They coming in. Wanting to make things right. The universe is telling you. Libra, let's make it right. Let's make it right. So. This is just a heads up. You guys are continuing to do things. <coughs> that you guys 
actually did in the past life and that's why you guys come back and continue to do the same thing pride ego i'm talking about the connection itself pride ego communication issues you guys are just too alike the, the problem here over all everything energetically you guys are identical you guys are identical and that thing makes issues sometimes i wish you luck libra because you'll need it so now i'm going to give you the possible energies of this person this could be the first last medal or even a nickname okay m as a michelle t as in tyler y as in yes a as in apple k as in kfc n as in nina w as in william b as in boy l as in leo h as in hamburger XXI Savior, GS and George, IS and Ian, and ES and Edwin. Those are the possible initials of whoever this person is. Well, baby, the universe is going to make you guys do things right because they're done with this. They're done with this. But either way, um, towards the end of your reading, I'm going to actually answer a question with the book of answers. So as you guys know, if you guys saw the last video, um, you're going to think about a question. I want to count to three for you to focus and Put your intentions in that question and i'm going to give you three possible answers to that so let me start so one two and three. First answer to that you have to compromise the first one says you have to compromise what is the second question i mean the second answer remove your own obstacles second remove your own obstacles and last one, get a clear view. Get a clear view. So this is the end of your reading, Libra. Thank you so much for watching me. And as you guys know, if you want to win a free reading, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I'm hosting a free reading giveaway. As every time my channel gains a thousand subscribers, I host it. So if you want to know more how to win it, make sure to go to the video, which is already posted. It says giveaway time. For those who don't know, I most likely showed you already without a screenshot. Um, with that said, um, if you follow me on Instagram, I always follow back. I also have a TikTok where I do tarot readings over there as well. I uh, have a Facebook group as well in the Facebook group. So if you want to be part of it, join. I have a project coming up, which is a podcast. Um, the link is already on the description box below. So if you want to follow me already, because I'll be posting soon, hopefully when I get my computer. Also, I'm open for personal readings as well. So you want to go to the link. That's the only way you can get a reading with me. Um, the link always is going to be in the description box below. If you rather go on my Instagram, you can find the website. It's going to be in a book that says book now. Uh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, it's going to be a button that says book now. Click on it and it takes you to the same, to the same link uh, or the same website. But this guys i do not offer anything free anywhere else outside youtube which is giveaways i do not take any requests for personal readings outside the website that i have so if anybody messaged me outside asking for for readings i want to direct you to that website with this said uh thank you so much for watching me remember that i never message message first i never message anybody requesting or offering any readings um thank you so much once again for the love and support um I feel that's it. I don't want to bore you a lot. You guys are amazing. Thank you for the 12K. You guys have my heart. And let's work to get here to 20K. Because like I said before, once I get to 20K, I'll be giving not only tarot readings, but I want to also be giving away tarot decks. So with this said, thank you so much for watching me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you guys soon. And happy Halloween. Bye. <laughs>